everybody. I'm Debbie Allison with Dev & Company, and I'm here today with Crazy Felix, and in honor of his birthday, I thought today's tutorial would center around a party theme. So what we're going to do is make some really cool things that you can use at birthday parties or any kind of party, and then use as a photo holder after the party is over. So uh, if you will stay with me, we will go over the materials list. Before I show you the materials list, let me show you what we're going to do today. We are going to make these cool little cupcake photo holders. And what I've done here is I've actually used the um, a cookie cutter and made the number for the year of the birthday party. Like this would be the first birthday. This would be their third birthday. And what you can do with these is you can use them as place card holders. Or a really cool idea to do would be to get all of the kids at the party, get their photograph and put their photograph here instead of the place card and their name on this little star. And then after the party, they could take it home. So you would ideally set these at, at their seats and everybody, every kid could find their photograph and their seat and that would be a lot of fun for the kids. You could also get your, your kids involved in actually making these little cupcake photo holders. Let me show you some of the uh, some of the other things I've done that are a little fancier. This is Petey Penguin. You could do the same type of thing. It's got a photo holder in it. I've also made this um, really cool. This is one of my famous belly bears, and he is uh, a little party bear with his balloons. And um, a lot of these are available on our website, by the way, at www.devinco.com if you wanted to purchase them. So let me go over the materials list now that you know what we're going to do. First of all, you're going to need two balls of Sculpey. And in this video, I am using Sculpey. Sculpey is not my um, favorite, and I'll explain why. This is Sculpey. Then you're going to need um, a piece of, this is zinc, yellow, and this is Primo, rolled out at a setting of one. You're going to need some crazy glue for your wire. You're going to need a piece of wire to put in the center of your cupcake, some wire cutters, some needle nose pliers, a star cookie cutter. If you don't have a star cookie cutter, you could cut out a star, but it's a lot easier if you get a, use a star cookie cutter. A blade. You're also going to be needing um, some kind of cupcake uh, little papers. I'm going to be utilizing these. You're also going to need, um, for the top, this will be your frosting, will be decorative snow. Um, there's all kinds of decorative snow out there. So we're going to be utilizing that. You'll also need some glitter to put on the top, some little cake sprinkles, and this is a glitter tray, and I'll show you how to use that later. So I think that is all that we need. Now, if you need any materials, you can buy them from Polymer Clay Express online, and that's where I get all of my goodies. They have just all kinds of things to offer. If you go to Polymer Clay Express, be sure and tell them that Deb sent you. So now that we know what we're going to need, let's get started. All right, I'm going to take this uh, round piece of clay, and it's pretty dirty right now, but that won't really matter because none of this is going to show. Uh, once the whole thing is baked. And I'm going to take my um, cupcake paper and I'm going to put this piece of clay in here. And it may not actually be big enough. But that's okay. You'll get the general idea. And then I'm going to take another piece of clay, white, and this is going to be the top of my cupcake. I'm trying to make it kind of round here. And I'm going to use a blade and cut it so that the bottom will be flat like that and then I'm going to kind of smash it down and this is going to go over the top of my cupcake here and now what we want to do is get this top to go over the papers and hold the papers in and you want to go all the way around pushing that down now as I said I like um, I usually like to use Fimo Soft for this type of thing. I don't normally use Sculpey, and the reason I don't use Sculpey is because Sculpey doesn't hold together as well if you're doing large pieces and they've got joints like arms and tails and things of that nature. The Sculpey will tend to um, come apart. So we just want to go around getting this all under here. kind of like in the shape of a cupcake. 
You could probably use a little bit of glue too because that won't hurt to bake it. And now I'm going to take a piece of wire and I'm just going to bend it around in um, like a, I don't know, spiral. You can hear Zeppelin, our dog, in the background. Poor thing. He, he actually tore ligament in his leg and he's not feeling too well. So um, I feel sorry for him. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm bending this around to make like a spiral and then I'm going to bend it back and this is what you're actually going to be putting your photo or your place card in. Now I'm going to see about how long I want this. Um, I'm going to cut part of it off and then I'm going to stick it right in the center. Mwah, I think that's a little longer than I want. I'm going to cut a little more off. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, because I don't really want to use um, the number one or three or number and make this for a year, I want to make this for any kind of party. So I'm going to use a star and um, I'm going to cut two stars using my cookie cutter. Now I buy, a lot of people want to know where I get my polymer clay and I buy all of my polymer clay and all of my tools from Polymer Clay Express online. They have anything you could possibly dream of for polymer clay. And um, if you just tell, ask for Rob and tell him Deb sent you, they'll be really good to you. All right, now I'm taking my star and I'm putting one there in the front and one in the back here. And then I'm kind of pushing them down onto the clay and then pressing them together so they'll be like two-sided. So you see how simple that was. Now all we need to do is bake it in the oven at a setting of 250 for about 30 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay well now it's done and um, you need to leave it in the oven to cool so to prevent cracking. So I've left it in the oven for a good hour and now it's ready for us to decorate the top. What I'm going to use on the top is this decorative snow. I, I prefer um, fantasy snow but my fantasy snow was had gone bad on me and we don't have a place around here to buy it so um, I'm going to use this decorative snow for the frosting and I'm using a popsicle stick and you just want to kind of spread it on as you can see it's kind of like frosting and I think under normal circumstances it would be a little easier to spread it's just that I've had mine for a while and it's kind of thick. So you can also do this with um, polymer clay, but to do it with polymer clay, you would have to mix some liquid with um, white, and I mean, it is a real chore and takes quite a while to get it to a consistency that would appear like frosting, and you need so much of it, and it can be kind of messy. So, and you just kind of want to let it go over the, the edges. And another thing you can do is you could actually take some food coloring and color this if you wanted to make like um, colored frosting. But that's what I'm going to do there. Now while it's still wet, you want to take your glitter and put your glitter on the top. And this is what I use a glitter tray for. This is a really cool thing, and I'm not sure if I got it at Michael's or where I got that, but um, I always use it to, for my glitter, and I'm just going to sprinkle some glitter along the top of this. And then how this works is you just take your glitter and pour it back into your container so you don't waste a lot of glitter. So that's, that's a really neat thing. Then I'm going to take my sprinkles. And you could use any kind of sprinkles to sprinkle on the top, but I'm using these, um, I guess they're, they're called decors, they're like candies, and you just kind of can just stick them on the top wherever you want. And you have to kind of stick them in. But you can see um, it's really starting to 
cupcake shape and it looks it looks fun. It looks like a real cupcake. So there you have it. Now what you would need to do is let it uh, sit overnight for 24 hours before you could actually use it. And if you have kids or a lot of cats like I do, you probably want to going to keep it like in the oven or somewhere that um, no animals can get to it or kids till it's dry. So that's it for that. Well, so that's it. Now you can see the finished product. And I've got a photograph of my granddaughter Savannah here. And uh, it looks beautiful. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you've enjoyed being with us today and would like to uh, see more of our videos, we hope that you'll subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to buy any of these products that we've made, we do have some of them available on our website at www.debandco.com. So thanks again for being with us. And uh, again, I'm Deb with Deb Co. Thanks. Bye-bye.